your response <coughs> to the Supreme Court judgment handed out today at 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we have noted the decision of the Supreme Court of Zimbabwe, which dismissed without proffering any reasons the appeal by President Sylvia Kasukere on the basis that it lacks merit. Regrettably and unfortunately, the court failed to deliver reasons of coming up with such a conclusion in a matter where millions of Zimbabweans were awaiting the results and have an interest in knowing what led to, this court, to the court's decision. The court delivered a bare judgment with a promise to deliver reasons in the future. It is a sad day for Zimbabwe. As stated earlier by counsel for President Xavier de Supere, the country faces a constitutional crisis. The Supreme Court, in its judgment, it surely abdicated its duties, its judicial function, and as such, the legal team has been instructed to approach the Constitutional Court <coughs> to apply for direct access so that the Constitutional Court can review this decision. These processes, which are already in motion, are fortified by the deep-rooted desire to save our beloved country and state institutions from the brazen capture, which is escalating to the extent of plunging the whole country into a constitutional and electoral crisis. What we have seen in the past few days, coupled with the High Court order from Lawayo, which also set aside the nomination of triple C candidates, we are seeing that this election is unique in its own way because it is being played out in the courtrooms. The judiciary has usurped the people's power to decide who to lead them. The fate of the country has now been captured by a few individuals. We have taken it upon themselves to, to, to twist the law and apply it unevenly in such a manner as to prejudice and deprive the majority of Zimbabweans of their right to vote, which is enshrined in the Constitution. It is all the more said regarding the history of this country, where we come from. How this right for one man, one vote was attained through the blood of the many sons and daughters of our nation who died in the bushes, who died outside of the country, to ensure that each and every one of us is entitled to their vote. Yet today, a few individuals closed in judiciary clothes have taken it upon themselves to limit that right and to stifle the political space. This is indeed sad and regrettable. Whilst President Kapsukwere pursues his options to protect his own rights and the rights of his supporters and the rights of millions of Zimbabweans to have a say and a choice in determining who leads them, we wish to make it abundantly clear that the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission is legally bound to print the paper with President Kasugwere's name and face. We also take note of the fact that up to yesterday, or up to today at night, the Commission could legitimately do so, but chose to wait and 
straddle and break timelines whilst they waited for this matter to be finalized. As there was no court order preventing the printing of the ballots with President Kasukure's name on it, there was no reason for Z to wait. The timelines of the electoral process have been compromised and breached. Why were they waiting? The nation deserves to know. Are they working in collusion with the party in power? Were they aware or did they somehow know of the outcome of today's court case <coughs> before any of us did? It was at the end of the day, it would seem like they were waiting for this day. So we challenge Z to maintain its independence and we express our extreme disappointment that they chose to breach electoral timings, which will make this election a sham because they were pay, playing interested party in the political arena. In light of all this and the many other translations, we have faced persecution, our billboards being torn down, contrary to the code of conduct governing all political parties. We wish to state that <coughs> the fourth coming election can never be deemed to be free and fair. It's a compromised process, it's a tarnished process. Any government arising out of such a shared process cannot claim legitimacy. It will be a shared government. And this is not what the people of Zimbabwe went to war for. To be shepherded into sham elections which have been predetermined by making it difficult for other players to participate even me we cannot say that this is a democracy the actions of the government acting in collusion or under the guise of the judiciary clearly show that the constitution is no longer respected. The separation of powers is no longer separated. There is collusion, independent, uh, independent constitutional bodies, the judiciary are working hand in glove, seemingly, with the ruling party to avert the will of the people of Islam. This is regrettable and unfortunate in the history of our country. I'll hand over to the Comrade Jim, to just outline the political response that we should expect going forward from President Kasugere's campaign team. Thank you. Push 
We are going to do anything to make sure that our presidential candidate appears on the ballot paper come 23 August. There are issues that need a political solution. So we have changed the gear now. We are engaging into another level of politics. We don't care, we don't mind that uh, E.D. Munangagwa claims to be police, claims to be army, claims to be courts, judiciary, whatever. <coughs> we are going to hand over our boards to him. If he's going to deal with us, let it be. What you want to see in Zimbabwe is democracy. He should not choose an opponent to contest with. He is just like said the other himself. So when somebody says, here, I come. I want to be the president of Zimbabwe according to the constitution. ED should simply allow the processes to go smoothly. He should not interfere with the judicial system. As you see, comrades, that already this election is a rigged election, rigged by the courts. He is using the courts to send the signal that he is a winner already. Just imagine, by dismissing those 12 MPs from TPC, Already ZANU-PF has pocketed 12 uncontested MPs, they have councillors, they have already senators. Now he comes again today, he says Tyson Sebia Kasukwere should not contest an election. Why is he afraid of Sevier? There is Kasia Murde. He doesn't stay in Zimbabwe. Busha doesn't stay in Zimbabwe, but they are there on the list of those who want to contest for being a uh, president of Zimbabwe. Why only Sebia Kasukwe? If my, that young boy loved them, is claiming that his rights are being violated by Kasukwe being on the ballot, what about myself? What about those who nominated uh, their presidential candidates? Their rights are also being violated by E.D. himself. Why I'm saying it's E.D. not love them? It's just a trick that is being used by E.D. to send Labdell to go and, and challenge uh, uh, the nomination of, of our presidential candidates. <coughs> we are going to mobilize our people across 10 provinces sooner the better we are going to make this loud and clear that it's now high time we take the bull by its horns if it means they are going to kill us let it be if they are going to arrest us let it be Jails are not meant for animals, they are meant for the people. So we are ready, we are going to make sure all our regional leaders across the country, our commissars, will be mobilizing for a very big event to follow. We will call you again here in a few days giving a signal to our comrades in different provinces for the next move that we are going to take. We will leave the legal team to take their own route. We as politicians, we are going to take our own route as politicians. The legal team will be doing their own legal ways. We will be doing our political way. So it's high time, comrades, we make sure that uh, we whip this old guy, this old man,
to lie. He must know that Zimbabwe belongs to everyone, not to himself. We are all Zimbabweans. We are tired of being abused each and every time. He's the one who appoints judges. He's the one who appoints the commissioners of the police, the generals from the army and everything. And he is using that opportunity to abuse other Zimbabweans. Yes, he is the at the moment, but you should allow competition. Let people choose their best presidential candidate for the betterment of our country. So we are organizing a very big event that will take place in all the 10 provinces. We are not bringing people in Harare, but we are going to make sure that all the provinces on that day, they are going to gather at a certain place and, and, and demonstrate. Who we'll hand over our petition to the relevant authorities. It's high time we come open Congress that our courts are captured. The judiciary system is captured. How do you really expect a judge, a learned person, just to come and say, your case is dismissed, and we will give you the reasons later? They were supposed to tell us the reasons why they have dismissed our case, our appeal. But they did it because they are not the ones who are preparing, or they are not the ones who have prepared that <coughs> dismissal. It was prepared by other people there. So I think our knuckles are itching for a bad fight until to the end. We are not afraid of anyone else. We are Zimbabweans. We are allowed to demonstrate. We are allowed to show to the whole world that there is no democracy in our country. We can't breathe now. We have been suppressed by the oppressor. We are not having a black smith in our country. So, when they went to war themselves, they were fighting to have freedom. with that freedom. So, we are, we are not going to fold our hands, comrades. Expect us to act as politicians. Something is coming on board. We are going to mobilize our people. You know, you know, there is something that has popped in my mind. As it is on another one, but we will not be able and as in our just allow Tyson to go and contest or an artist zero votes in the Tosia with another doing all this. Puchka Muruma, which come room, room, brand. We're going to demonstrate this is coming. But we have to turn out for shy races to make bigger man to match. The director will notify. We will notify them, and they, if they don't accept our notification, we will go ahead. We will go ahead. We are ready for anything on our way. I think I take a revolution in cinema, my challenges, in cinema obstacles, in a city revolution. What we are fighting for is not us, comrades. We are just fighting for the generations to come. No, we are not fighting for the generations to come. No, we are not fighting for the generations to come. So I'm ready to put my head on the block and march forward to make sure that 
democracy prevails at the end of the day. I thank you. Any questions? Okay, uh, if I can secure a SAGC next. Uh, I have one, uh, I need clarity on. Um, Ms. Jackie, you say that um, the process or this election process is a shame and whatever outcome, uh, no one can claim that the result will be legitimate. But I see you keep fighting and wanting to participate in this already shame and uh, <laughs> whose outcome is always going to be illegitimate. I just need you to explain to me why you keep fighting when you actually have already discredited the, the process and the outcome. We are fighting for the people of Zimbabwe. We have no option but to keep fighting. Because remember when President Kasukwere threw his name in the ring, it was because there was a call from the people of Zimbabwe. You cannot let down the people of Zimbabwe because of one man. You will see that this election is unlike the previous elections, where disputes arise after the election day itself. Here we see that the president himself, using his proxies, the ruling party, using his proxies, is the one which has been approaching the courts and manipulating the court outcomes in their favor. But we have no option but to charge on because the people have mandated us to do so. We are not fighting a battle for one man. We are fighting a battle for millions of Zimbabweans' right to choose a leader of their choice. That right is not limited or is not invested in the judiciary. It is given to one man for himself to go out on 23 August to vote for himself or for herself, whomsoever they wish to lead. But we have seen that the courts in collusion with Zanpi, in collusion with Emerson Nanga, they've taken it upon themselves to try and vote for each other <coughs> through dubious court orders, which they cannot even beg. If that judgment had ever happened, we would have been there for an hour with the judge reading out the reasons why they think that this appeal is made. But they cannot even do so. In one minute, they were out. This is not a judgment that should be accepted as a fair judgment. In, the, in spite of all these challenges, we are saying we are battling on. We are not backing down because we have no choice. We are using all avenues open to us until democracy is attained in Zimbabwe. Because what we have is not a democratic process. What we have is a dictatorship who has captured all institutions, including ZEC, to manipulate the result in one man's favor. That cannot be allowed to happen. Any other question? Yeah. Thank you. My name is uh, Regina Martin, and I write for the to my brother, who is a link in the team. Is uh, a candidate. Will your candidate vote on 24? My brother. This is a registered voter. So no one is going to stop him from exercising his democratic right to vote. He will be in Zimbabwe. to exercise his right to vote. So he's coming? Yes. Okay, if there are no other questions, I would like to make sure I'm going to say, 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 Zero. 
Zimbabwe could demonstrate. Can I buy any zinus are owner? Zaona could say, as she could find us a canaka. You know, I didn't see a curatiza new new top. Is she looking So never Kuratizira kuno tendewa. Saka isu tafunga kuta a a a a e dai tiratizire. Matonge wakui tuani ka asiriyo. Matira abita judiciary asiriyo. Saka funga kuti zuri nani tiratizire kuratiza kuti. Tidipu nyinyuta, pane zinu zisiri kufamba zwa kanaka e, mnika yezima.